In our last video, we uh, staked a claim. Now we are going to have to be prepared to defend it. Hungry bandits have discovered us. I'm going to hold. I'm going to get my guys to hold right here. We have no quarrel. You may proceed in peace if you choose to. Eve is the leader, breaks first, goes in, and the fight commences. This crew is going to make short work of these guys. I'm seeing some red, which indicates that we are taking some damage. But I'm seeing more green. We need to get Mouse some armor. Ooh, she took a hit there. There we go. Get some hits in. Curly's helping her out. There we go. Mandy's just showing up. It's not her fault. She's heavily loaded with uh, building materials. Not sure what the tableau thing is that Rocky's doing. Maybe he's just... Alright, they're going to finish this up. Why don't you all take care of each other? Cat's like, I am having a hard time walking. I'm too loaded. Too loaded down, I should say. All right. Well, the issue is, of course, our guys are heavily loaded down. Once again, I'm going to have them start treating each other. I'm going to take a look at guys who don't have anything in their inventory. Like Larry. Have him come start disarming these guys. So they're not so much of a problem for us. If we see any shoes or armor, which we probably won't on these guys, then we'll have to take them for looks like cat and, and I think mouse was not armed or uh, not uh, not armored these guys are just wearing rags this stuff here doesn't really have a whole lot of armor value doesn't have has barely any armor value. Well, what have you got going on? Did I just take Curly's weapon? Yeah. That secondary slot's kind of a bother sometimes. They're not using it right now. I think they plan on doing it at some point. Just for fun, what is she supposed to be? What is she supposed to be using? She's a katana person, so I got to get her katana back. I think Larry ended up snagging that accidentally during that. Right. 
and take that too. Take this. Dump that down here. What is that? 0.54. Go back to Larry. And take your that see that guy's going, he's leaving. Get your katana back. I'm sorry, somehow he ended up with it. Oh, that's a good katana. By all means, keep using that. Alright. I think with these guys disarmed, we're we have whoops. Managed to skip. Keep coming. You'll see the bodies stir, and every once in a while somebody's going to get up. Hopefully we've disarmed them all. Yeah, that guy's getting up. He's like... He's like, I'm not very happy with my life. And I have no weapons, so I'm going to run away. Does anybody still need medical attention? I keep interrupting these guys. I think we should be good. Alright. Now, we're in the right spot. And... be nice to have some daylight to actually eyeball where we want to put things, so we're going to just wait. At high speed. And around 4 o'clock in the morning when the sun comes up here, we'll dial it back and take a look. Dawn should arrive shortly. Stone Mining 4. We may have... Gee, when's the sun coming? Okay, here we go. Friendlies. Yeah, this is going to be a popular spot. Bring up the sun. All right, come on. These guys are okay, and I like this plat this little spot here. It's not really a plateau, but this little spot. So I think what we're going to do is build ourselves a stone mine right here, and we're going to start out with. Mandy, because she's got the rocks. And we're going to go ahead and go build. Mining. Stone mine four. Stone mine five. Oh my gosh. really anywhere. We can dismantle it when we need to. And confirm. So get to it. And this mine, see, we can have some helping hands. Um, I think we know that Solomon is very good at building. So he can come help. Anybody who's good at engineering would be really useful here. Oops. Gunter is a medic. He's good at science. Not at engineering. No. Uh, cat. 
She's done some engineering. It's too bad Skip's not good at anything. Look at that. Engelbert. Engelbert the engineer. That's right. Get to work, buddy. And he's a medic. Mr. Lee, he's not good at anything. Another medic. Professor Ice. Solomon is already working on it. Gertrude! Look at her! She's got some engineering ability. Carry on, my friend. Alright. And I can't remember where in the heck this stuff comes out of this stuff. Engelbert's in space. That's what he's such a good engineer that he levitates when he works. And there's some part of this where the stuff comes out. Alright guys, nicely done. Um let's go ahead and build the stone processor. Come over here, please. Get out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and build Mining. Stone. This, these letters are so small. Stone processor 3. Let me put my face closer to this. Stone processor 3. That's it. And let's get it as close as we can. Confirm. And get our get our crack engineering team over there to work on that. Engelbert, that includes you. Engelbert, that includes you. I didn't mean that crack. I wonder why Engelbert doesn't want to move. Come on, go. Meanwhile, these other guys are over here just monitoring friendlies as they wander by. This is going to be a good place. Alright. And then with this, as it as we uh, get material, we'll, uh... Oh, we're gonna have to have a generator. Let these guys work as a security team. Feel free to come a little closer. I don't get the lag in the programming for some of these guys. I don't know why they don't come all at the same time, but probably because some of them were not selected. Come here. You guys too. Come over here. There you go. This will take some power. This only takes two workers. The other one took, or could take up to four. Just for, just for fun, this one takes four workers, and the other one took eight. So that's one of the benefits of the uh, of the of the higher level stuff. Right. I'm still trying to remember the power requirements. Let's see, stone processor three. Receive, er, receives battery power switch off 
We don't actually have any generator built. Well, we'll figure all this out. The goal is to get this thing operational so that we get more building material coming. And then we'll be good. Just looking around. So that's Clown Steady. That's our original little thing that we built. These are friendlies passing by. All right. There we are on the map. And we are getting there. Oh dear, this takes 30 materials. I don't think we have that many. We built nicer stuff than than I had meant to. Well, let's find out. Because it'll, it'll add more material when it gets to 20 right here, or they'll stop. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they stopped. Who else has material? Rocky has material. He's adding his materials. And they're all going back to work. Let's check Rocky's inventory. He emptied himself out. Right, who else had materials that we don't? Eve has a few. Uh, and Duke. Eve and Duke have a few. Let's remember that. These guys are building. Let's double time this. And Eve, you can come over and help too. Since you've got some building material, now they're going to add hers. And that brings us up to the number required for this. So let's see if this will work without a generator. Alright, let's dial back the speed here. Now we'll grab some laborers. Four. Come over here and start whacking away. Okay, and it's gonna, they're working. Because the mine doesn't require power at all. Solomon, who is very good at this. Why? No, you're not going to go run anywhere and grab anything. Well, I guess we'll wait for these guys to kick out some, put some, get some output right over here, which is right now. We're going to have to remember that Solomon's going to intend. To, I have to take apart that other. Alright, he's grabbing stuff, going to work, and he can't work because there's no power. Or can he? So power, there's, there is power, and because there's only one worker, it's, so this is like battery powered? There's another worker, 
Let's go with this stuff. Engelbert, I think. I can't remember if we are good at this or not. Okay, so this shows... So the two guys who are working on this can do it. Alright. But it's a little faster than is needed. So what does that show? See, current jobs, I still haven't figured out exactly how to do this. I'm going to have to do a little reading. Because he was assigned, somehow, I accidentally gave him a, uh, made his current job be doing the refining at the other place. And now we're about ready to kick out our very first bar of material from this place. Isn't that nice? Now he's going to stop until these guys are done. He should go over and collect more. I don't know why he's not. In any event, we're uh, now in the process of, we should probably consider where we're going to build our first storage unit. This is going to be a setup probably similar to what we had over there. Alternatively, we could just go ahead and start working on fences, on gates, on a wall. I don't know. It's going to be a very unfriendly area for a while. So we're going to have to figure out how to survive. How to survive in no man's land out here. Until we can get ourselves some protection. Eventually we're going to have a little compound with walls and turrets. And all kinds of fun stuff. But right now sort of naked out here in the middle of nowhere. We are naked. For a short-term answer, we can always get Mandy to store some of the output. She can come over here and loot. Pack it in that great big bag of hers. That'll prevent an overflow problem. It's not very glorious, not very glamorous, but at least we can get her to pull this stuff while the other guys stand watch and gonna kinda keep them here this is not gonna be very exciting to watch so I'm gonna probably speed through some of this and try to get enough material that I can build once again let's take a look at what we can build we may opt to build a bigger place uh, buildings we have large house, we have small, we have shack, saloon, house, large house. We haven't researched any of the bigger places yet. 70 building materials, but a large house 
the nice thing about that is it will give us some room for a new research bench and a bed at least and all we have to do first is kind of decide where we want to put that thing that will be easier to decide when the sun is up well wait I don't want to speed through this too much because we're going to end up wasting a lot of time these guys have three Solomon needs to get to work Mandy, why don't you go ahead and... No, actually, why don't you come back here and take what's in there already? Yeah, this moves along very fast, even without, even with only one guy on it. That's yeah, pretty impressive. Eventually, we have to automate this because this can get pretty old. But for now, what we'll do is we'll probably, when the sun comes up, we'll uh, pick the location for the small house, which will be near this side of the machine. And... I think I can go ahead and set up that location right now. And the person that we will have lead the construction whoops wrong key is not him. It's Engelbert. Yeah, he's an engineer. So, Engelbert, we will have you start building a large house. Large house. Confirm. And it's paused. And Engelbert, you come over here. Get to work. I don't know if he I don't know if he grabbed that out of the machine. He did. Oh that's nice. Mandy, why don't you help? because you've got materials. That's kind of nice. We just got to keep... All we have to do now at this point is keep Solomon busy. And uh, 70 materials from now, or 68 or whatever it takes, we'll uh, weapon smithing for researched. So they've already thrown five into this. We need another 65. There goes the floor. That's nice. This is like normal speed, too. 
if we had a lot more building materials, you know, what we could do is exhaust the other building materials that these guys have right now by having them come over here and lend a hand. It's going to be disastrous if they all go running off somewhere else looking for building materials. There. Okay, so the ones who are carrying materials are adding them. That's what I was hoping that would happen. We're going to let these guys work. I'm going to keep them selected in case I need to pull them away. For fun, look at the house. They've added seven. They're adding more building materials. So there are a couple of them that are carrying building materials. And will this be 11? 10. All right, so there's only one le that's left as building materials. And that's it. We've exhausted our building materials, which is fine. These guys can come over here. Leave these guys to keep doing the building. 10 out of 70, Solomon. The, the stone processor is idle because he's not working. These guys aren't working because probably this output is full, or was. Come on, guys, get back to work. I'm like, all right. Just gotta figure a way to keep Solomon busy. Still doesn't show up as his current job. Hmm. Don't know. But it is nice to see these guys when they realize that there's something there. Go grab it and go back to work. At least Engelbert and Mandy are running over to help. And given the rate of production over here, two is all we need working on it. Because they're just adding one at a time. All right, so I'm going to keep working on this little home. Well, on this, technically, it's a large house. And uh, we'll start recording again when we're done and it's time to do something else or when something exciting happens, like an attack. See you then.